my name is Linda, I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm making a reasonably quick card today. I'm using um, the Free as a Bird stamp set and I'm using the Bird Ballad uh, Design Series paper as well, which goes with the Free as a Bird stamp set. I'm using this piece and I'm cutting out one of the birds from this one as well, which I've already done. So I've chosen my bird and I've just stuck it to a piece of um, spare cardstock that I've got. My base is, um, I'm going to be using this as my base. This is what I've got in my stash and I'm using up lots of my um, cards and envelopes that I found stashed away. And so I've gone for um, just a crumb cake base there. And I'm also, I've just used the seasonal layer finlet dies to cut out um, this cute branch. And I've used um, soft suede for that and on the back of it, I've used the um, sticky sheets that you can get. And I've got a piece of Whisper White here. So this is, I think it's um, two and a half inches by five and a quarter. And it's five and a quarter because that is my card base. So whatever card base you're using. And we're gonna do a bit of stamping to start with. I'm using my crumb cake and I've got my little finger dauber here. Something to protect my table and we're going to start with our white piece. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tear it. So we're going to tear, so a controlled tear. And then on the other side, so you need to tear it one way. So you need to tear it um, when, once you start tearing, just keep going the same way. So the first time I, I tore it away from me, this time I'm tore, tearing it towards me. Oh, too many T's. And now we're going to use our crumb cake. I've got my little finger dauber here and I'm going to go around my edges. Just little small circles, not pushing very hard. I've just gone all over that, giving the paper a sort of old, distressed look. And then I'm bringing in um, my crumb cake again. And I'm using the little leaves. This is off the Freezer Bird stamp set. I'm stamping off and then stamping on. So this is just um, sort of a background piece. So I've been doing a few um, sort of mixed media sort of um, ideas because I have a new lady starting my card classes and that's the sort of style that she likes. So I'm trying to adapt for this card class that I'm doing for her. So now I've just chosen one of the sentiments and I'm stamping over the back. Coming in with one of the others. And again, stamping off, stamping over the back. It is just for background, you're not really meant to be able to read it. I'm going to bring in my designer series paper and I'm just going to stick that to the front of my card. I've just cut it, I've cut this at five by five and my card is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So I've stuck that to the middle of my card. And we're going to do, and this, this is going to go on here. It's my little bird that I've chosen. I've cut him out and stuck him onto my paper, as I said earlier. And I'm just going to bring in my little crumb cake dauber that I used before. I'm just going to protect my bird's body. And I'm just going to go over his little feet. Just with the crumb cake. Just bringing in one of the little words there, one of the little sentiments rather. I'm going to cut this out. I don't know if you can see. So the reason I've um, I've done the crumb cake around his feet because that would be impossible for me to cut out. So I'm just doing it. So when I put him on here, upside down, 
um, his sort of his feet are going to merge into the background. So I'm just going to fussy cut that out now. So there's my little bird, all ready to go. And my reasoning behind sticking him to the um, crumb cake was just to make him a little bit firmer, a little so he's not so floppy. So um, it'd make a good embellishment there. And I'm going to start putting this together now. I'm bringing in um, Seaside Notions. I'm using the Happy Birthday. I'm going to be using this a lot if you see my videos because it's one of my favourite um, Happy Birthday stamps. I really like the font. I'm using the Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm going to put my Happy Birthday over here. And then I've got this um, on the back here. So this is like a um, sticky adhesive. Makes it much easier to stick things on. And then I'm going to decide where I want my branch, where my bird's going to go. And then just push that down. And then just cut off what we don't need at the end there. I'm going to put dimensional on my bird. I'm going to stick this onto our card base. So sorry about my plasters. I cut my finger, I cut my thumb this morning when I was cutting my strawberries for my breakfast. I'm just going to stick that on. I'm just trying to get this as straight as I can. And then I'm just going to pop my bird on my branch. Can't decide where I'm going to put him. But it's quite a simple card to make. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you go to the description below, you'll be able to see a list of products I've used. So, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>